Hey guys, this is my buddy Harrison. Uh, I call him Harry. Uh, we're looking at his collection of parts right now. Um, so Harry, uh, introduce yourself a little bit. Uh, tell us what you do for a living and tell us a little bit about your NSX that all these parts are going on to. Yeah. Um, hi everyone. My name is Harrison. Um, I design uh, cars for Hyundai, I'm an interior designer. Um, this has been my kind of passion project for a long time. Um, this is uh, my second NSX build. It's a uh, 91, um, but what you're seeing is just a culmination of just collecting parts for a long time. And how, how long has that been? Uh, Sir, how long has your car been on jack stand? <laughs> uh, it's been a long time. I think parts. so far it's been like two, three years, <laughs> maybe more, because I kind of collected yeah. stuff while I was at Art Center. Um, but yeah, these cars are just, they're so old and parts are so hard to find. You just kind of get what you can, can find these days. So yeah. this is uh, scary enough, just a portion of what I've been collecting. Um, but I'm very excited to build another car. This is probably my last, I always say this, but my last build. So <laughs> um, yeah, really excited to share this, this, these, these parts with you guys and hopefully give cool. you a better understanding if you guys were curious about some parts. Um, yeah, check it out. All right, guys, so as promised, uh, I'm going to start filming my buddy's build. That's uh, my good friend, Harry. Uh, you would have seen his wheels mounted, his Mita wheels mounted in the previous episode. Um, but I just want to show you, give you some eye candy of his amazing build in progress. So. Yep, too much stuff. Here's the man. <laughs> hey, Say how's hi. it going? Um, so these parts speak for themselves, but, uh, all of it, you know, most of it's brand new besides the exhaust and, and the wing pretty much. But, um, this is going to be a top notch spoon GT build. So I guess we'll just go one by one. Let's start with the, the major stuff. Sure. Let's start yeah, with yeah. this stuff in the back. Yeah. So. Uh, talk us through this bumper because people don't know that the there's only so many options if you want to go uh, NX, NSX GT style bumpers, mm -hmm. um, which of course is was a, like an OEM um, homologation spec car from Honda for JGTC back in the day. So this is one of the two major companies that make this bumper. This is a spoon bumper, right? Yes, this one's from Spoon. Uh, so you previously had a Route KS bumper, uh, which is the same style, but we learned completely different yeah, they're, in the molding, they're, right? They're a little bit different, same kind of style, but um, yeah, thanks to GoTuning for helping me track these down. It's been, this is a culmination of years, years of collecting parts and stuff. So I'm excited to share it with you guys. Um, yeah, the spoon bumper, super cool. I just, uh, I think the major difference is, uh, the, the the root KS one is just the quality. Um, all of the bumper, the tabs, the holes and stuff are pre-drilled. Um, just just expected spoon quality. It's just really really nice nice stuff. So this bumper in front that we're seeing here is the rear bumper. Um, it's really nice quality. Yeah. Uh, what you would expect from Spoon Sports. So this is all authentic Spoon Sports. We got this from, uh, as Harry said, from Go Tuning from Tommy. Um, yeah. Yeah, the mold's really flat. All the surfaces are yeah. really, really clean. It comes, uh, with, comes with all this nice uh, grilling. Yeah. All the tabs are um, just little things. Like these tabs, are all these tabs in here are rubber dipped. Um, just little nice quality, little details, you know, like make make it extra nice. Right, right. Okay, sorry about my dog. Can you? <laughs> all right, so we're taking a look at the bottom of the uh, GT bumper. And so you can see here that it has a really nice molded yeah, so this actually, all this flanging accepts the NSXR under tray. Uh, the Root KS one, uh, it looks like it was just straight and cut. And actually having both, having had both of them, uh, they they look the same, but they're completely different. And um, there, and there's a huge price difference, right? Yeah, yeah. It's so the real stuff's over double. So the spoons, this, this, this spoon bumper is, it might look the same as the Root KS on the outside, but it's almost double, you said? Yeah. In cost. I mean, so, so, and you can see, you know, it might be hard for people to, to wonder why there's that big of a price difference, but um, 
just looking at the mold, the mold quality itself, yeah, the mold's is, really nice you thing. can you can tell why why there's a difference there. Um, they also give you like uh, all the OEM bumper tabs and stuff. I think Ribcase gave this gave this stuff to you too. Mm -hmm. um, but they give you all the, the OEM pieces for all the plugs for the, right. the tow hooks and stuff. So it is, yeah, it, it's really complete kit. Very, very well thought out. <laughs> hopefully if, if it's, it should fit amazingly well, but um, this is some really nice parts. And here's the, here's the grill for the front bumper. Yeah. So the spoon bumper, um, and the root chaos bumper don't come with these pieces. You need to all order these from, from Honda. But what I noticed was that the registration points for the authentic spoon one were spot on. So the, uh, the OEM pieces, like all these gaskets and stuff just dropped straight in. Um, things like that I think are, are worth it. Um, yeah. but that's subjective too. So to each their own, but I, so I it, like stuff like it really, that. <laughs> it really, really comes into, you know, obviously, so the Group KS bumper is a lot cheaper, a lot more cost effective. Um, but it really just depends on how much, you know, what kind of fit and finish and, and quality you're looking for. You can definitely get the overall look done with the Group KS, but if you're looking for the highest quality, you know, closest to OEM, as far as accepting all the rubber gaskets and being able to bolt up to the un the splash guards, the under panels underneath, uh, you know, spoon spoon definitely takes the cake in that one. There's also, um, if you look, it's kind of subtle, but I think it's a difference between a donkey and a horse. Um, the molding for the OEM flanges in there. So all of the, the the factory bumper had a plastic piece. It's two pieces, but you can see this mold captured everything. Yeah. So um, you know where to tape it off, where to basically black out yeah. the graphic. Um, yeah, it's just it's very thoughtful, very very thoughtful, very, very and nice. I designing cars from an OEM perspective, I certainly appreciate all this detail. There's a lot of love that goes into this stuff, and yeah, from from my perspective, yeah, I, is, I really appreciate this is it. A super high quality bumper. It's a very complicated piece too. So you can see where it's all yeah, put together. The old lines. Yeah. Um, thank you Spoon for continuing to make parts for our cars. Yeah. I sincerely, sincerely appreciate it. Um, yeah, they're one of the few companies that they just came out with their exhaust. Um, they used to have one, but I, I don't know if it's the same exact, like a re remake of the, their old titanium, but um, they just came out with a, tit a new titanium exhaust. And uh, one of the only few still come out with new parts or still making new, new parts for the NSX. So big shout out to Spoon. So we're just looking at the quality of this. This is the inside of the bumper. And you can see, you know, how many different pieces they had to mold to get to even have this, this piece come in and make this shape right here. So it goes all the way across, you know, to allow you to bolt up the plastics underneath. And then we just noticed that there's even, maybe hard to see in there, but that dark area is a, Kind of a reinforcement that spans all the way across you can see it down there spans all the way across the other side uh kind of reinforcing the, the lip so that's a really nice touch and this is just a beautiful mold it's a work of art yeah i think you know to looking at it the more you look at it i think the yeah the more yeah. i really appreciate certain yep. things like this is all trimmed out very very nice yeah um, it's got even a relief, you know, like yeah, an yeah. offset. Yeah. Yeah. Um, attention to detail is very, very good. Yeah. Very good. How about these uh, Spoon Sports vents? Yeah, so these vents are really cool. Um, I was fortunate enough to get a set uh, signed. By, I went, went to Homecoming. Yeah, I got it, got it signed. But um, again, they make a couple versions of this. But the spoon ones, you can see the molding on here. All everything in here is just, um, it's just done really done really well. Uh, has the nice. you know these look like OEM probably. Yeah. Like these flower bolts. Flower bolts. But yeah, I got that signed by Ichishima-san himself at the um, homecoming twenty twenty one. Is it? That's last year. Yeah. Yeah, twenty one. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for making parts. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, I didn't have the bumpers in at that point, right? Yeah, <laughs> you could have brought in the sign. It's okay. I mean, 
to be honest, I've been collecting parts for a really long time. This is my second NSX build. Uh, this was off of my first car, my red one, my 91. So I, I still had some, some pieces that I've been holding onto for a long time, uh, but I'm really excited to be back and, and um, hopefully build a nice car. Yeah, so let's, let's go look at your other major pieces here. Let's look at these headlights. Yeah, this is the uh, NSXR headlights. So these are brand new, spanking new, and all of these parts, these bumpers and all the spinning sports obviously are brand new. Uh, these are brand new OEM NSX Type R Championship White uh, HID uh, facelift headlights. So they're uh, never been mounted, fresh. And this is how they come bare from the factory, but Harry painstakingly <laughs> uh, sourced and tracked down every single gasket, you know, gasket bolt. cover, bolt. So this will be very complete when it when it's done. Yeah, the set on my car right now, the silver set is is pretty complete. But there's a lot of like small parts that go into the OEM, the O2 front that um, kind of get overlooked. There's a lot of stuff, <laughs> more than I ever expected. Right. But uh, it's worth it. It's worth it. I think it's if you do it right, you know, it's mm -hmm. only quality. And these headlights are beautiful. They're cool. All right. So one of the used items right here, exhausts are for those who don't know are really. Uh, it's a sore subject for NSX owners because there's not that many that are still in production. So unlike these aero parts that are still in production by Spoon, um, not a lot, of, a lot of exhausts are discontinued. And so this is, I believe Titex, this Titex is discontinued, right? Yeah. yeah. So what, do you know which the exhaust uh, this exactly is this um, is? Titex Lightweight. Titex Lightweight. Yeah. It's a good exhaust, I think, you know, growing up, Back in the old school days of NSX ownership, um, that's what we had. There's a lot more options now, but uh, yeah, it's a great sounding exhaust, and it's unfortunate that it's discontinued. But um, oh. it's just the nature of the beast. It's uh, really, really hard to find parts now for these cars, so you kind of get what you can find. Yeah. So this exhaust, um, you know, I I'm new to the NSX community, so I haven't heard this exhaust, but. A lot of people say this is their favorite exhaust system, so I'm excited to hear this thing. Um, it's very it looks very minimal. Uh, looks like it'll sound uh, should sound pretty good. So, mm -hmm. Titec exhaust I think usually sound pretty good. Um, all right, so this wing actually has a bit of a <laughs> yeah. history, right? Yeah, this is off my old red car. Um, yeah, it's an uh, authentic Titec wing. Um, Beautiful, beautiful piece. I've been, you can obviously see how much dust there is on it. Yeah, the carbon. <laughs> seeing through uh, the dust, the carbon looks see the really dust. nice quality. Um, this has been sitting in my storage for a long time, but I love this wing and I'm really excited to put it on. Um, I think it'll go really well with your, the whole GT theme because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, obviously it's kind of the GT car is like a race car, homologated car, right? So, but uh, this is kind of what you need to especially if you end up getting a snorkel or something yeah. even more aggressive in the future. Yep. Um, this wing will top it off pretty nicely as opposed to the stock, the very mild stock wing that just blends yeah, in with true. the car. Yep. Okay, so we have JRZ well-known high-end suspension. These are the RS Pros, brand new, of course. Um, ordered these through Formula S. Right? Yeah, I got them through, through Formula Shout S. Shout out to Alan and Chris. Thank you very much for bringing these in. Um, they've been sitting also like a lot of my <laughs> other parts but uh hopefully they'll get on the car soon and um yeah put them to use they're they're great i had grz's on my my old car and just fell in love with the ride quality and the, the just everything about them they're just phenomenal so had to get them again for this build and these i think have the extended yes um, um lines right correct so the nsx if you get the rs pros um, they usually supply a little bit shorter line so you want to make sure to get an extended line um, because it's it's hard to, very difficult uh, to mount. yeah the stock length line apparently is just long enough to reach the top of the engine bay. Um, we're talking about the rears, right? The yes, rear, yes. rears in particular are harder to mount. So with the extra line, I I think well, what what we're hearing is that it'll help allow you us to have more slack or allow Harry to have more slack and more uh, flexibility and mount where to mount or you can mount these reservoirs yeah i think it's you know it's a big difference you know a, a little bit of uh extra cable goes a long way so yeah you'll have more options where to put these whether it's in the front i think the front they usually mount it behind the headlights um but in the rear it gets a little tricky so 
make sure if you get these you get extended lines yeah, yeah. and uh definitely go to formula s they've got everything yeah formula <laughs> s alan and ready Chris. to go and you know no they're well get. known in the s2000 community but they're um w they can bring in nsx stuff no problem and they've been helping us bring in nsx stuff yeah um, without issue so they're really good really great guys uh, we got a little uh, carving strut bar here yeah we're, this we're, is this is special piece bar. so i had one of these on my again my old car so i'm just reliving my old <laughs> glory days of what i used to have i gave this one to my brother so i had to get another one but it's a it's a nice piece carving does cool yeah, stuff and, definitely um, high quality one piece aluminum yeah looks really nice okay so here the last but not least. So these are, I should say, these are the major parts of his build. Uh, there's a bunch of other small stuff that of course he has, but this is a major interior mod right here. Brand new OEM carpet and floor mats. Uh, the carpet is US spec, right? Yeah, this is a US spec red carpet. So it's US spec red carpet, obviously, because you need it, because the cutouts for everything are um, like what you need to be on the left left hand side. Mm -hmm. um, so uh you know you have the right le left correct left hand drive carpet correct left hand drive floor mats these are us spec floor mats yeah well. these are us spec floor mats everything's just factory oe i right. think this was offered in 2000 i'm not sure i think fixed headlight up you could option it with a red carpet they had like yellow mm. um blue i think right right so there's and, and these pieces in plastic are the center um center console yeah. side the sides of the center console brand right. new transmission right the center console and yeah there's so, a lot of crap <laughs> so this is going to transform his interiors interior is a full black yeah. full black interior um interiors are in you know special to this guy he's actually a interior designer for for hyundai yeah right um i really you know i designed interiors for hyundai for a living and you know this is a, a big part of the car so refreshing um Refreshing the interior. This this goes a long way. Yeah, getting some nice contrast in there instead of a all black interior. I, yeah. The other thing too is I I, I feel like um, when you buy an OEM part, right, you get all this stuff, the foam, all the plastic yeah. lining on this stuff, all right. the clips. So this to me this was really important because uh, I'm, this is there, yeah, yeah. There are aftermarket options out there as far as carpeting goes, um, which aren't terrible. But you know, yeah. not, there's gonna be nothing like you know. Everyone knows OEM is OEM, yeah. right? I mean, we spend a lot of time on the OEM side designing this stuff, stuff that you'll never see, like seatbelt bolt hole, like holes and stuff. And they, they're, it's it's there's a lot of work that goes into a, a stupid, simple thing like a carpet. So I certainly appreciate this stuff, I, you know, and uh, just wanted to breathe new life into the car, and this is a great way to do that. Right. Um, yeah. My the. The car previously just had like it's just it's old, <laughs> so you gotta you gotta refresh it. I mean, it's it's people put their feet all over it. So this yeah. is yeah. this is one of those things that you know I just wanted to do, and it just yeah. really makes a big difference. Yeah, this carpet is. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna be amazing. Uh, there's not gonna be nothing like fresh carpet, uh, especially the nice bright red contrast, and mm -hmm. it's gonna match match your red seats, right? Yeah, I got some pole, pole positions in red that um, I think would be really nice to complement the carpet, but there's, I don't know, there's something nice about like red carpet and, and contrast in the interior, it just feels yeah. really sporty, yeah. and um, just screams type bar and Honda, and just yep. uh, gotta have red carpet. <laughs> it was one of the favorite things. I did that in my S2000, actually, my S2000 was 04 with a full black interior. One of the first things I did was a red carpet, red floor mats, and it just makes, you look down and it makes the floor pop out, you know, and yes. looks nice and sporty in red, obviously. Yep. And then these are the center caps for the wheels. Yes. Which, uh, oh, these. You know, well, you would have seen them on the wheels in the last video, but we didn't, at this time, we didn't um, take those pictures yet. Yeah, so this is an NSX <laughs> R cap. Um, it's plastic, you know, it's yeah. nothing too crazy. Championship white OEM. The red, um, with the red H. But it's pretty nice. Good quality from Honda. And uh, excited to put these on the, the meter wheels. Yeah. Very nice, Harry. This cool, is going to yeah. be an amazing build. <laughs> uh, I look forward to covering it and following you along the journey. Yeah. Um, we'll, we will have some installation videos on the channel, hopefully. Um, you know, getting all this stuff put on and getting uh, basically ready to roll on the streets and so we can all roll out together yeah thanks for thanks for uh having me on your channel and yeah yeah this stuff hasn't seen the light of day so i'm excited to share it with everyone and um 
Yeah, this yeah. has been a very actually kind of secret build because, <laughs> yeah. like, you know, even our friends that we meet up with, you know, like Tony and Dennis, they haven't even seen your car, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just in the garage, <laughs> kind of hidden garage. away, <laughs> waiting. Just busy with life, you know. Waiting for all these parts <sighs> to go on. So, yeah. um, we'll get there. Basically, Harry has every, almost everything written close, needed. Close. You know, I just need to throw everything on, paint and the car for a. Uh, you know, letting me film you and oh, all these parts and anything else, anything else you'd like to say? Yes. Um, thank you to my wife for letting me borrow her office <laughs> to uh, share my uh, car parts collection with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for being letting me be part of your channel. And uh, if you guys have any questions, yeah, yep. I have comments. Cool. So uh, you'll be seeing more hopefully on the channel and uh, cool. uh, excited to, to um, see it come together. Thanks, everyone. Hey.